<gasps> Look at the bowl. So this is my old navy haul. I got two tank tops that were on sale. This was $6 and this one was $5. My total was $27.58 because I also got this t-shirt, which I'm going to cut up right now. Yes, because this is ugly as a t-shirt, but watch what it looks like when it's cut up. So literally all you do is just lay the shirt flat. Like, I don't know why this has to be a tutorial on the internet, but there'd be tutorials. So you, you see how there's like the seam lines? You literally just want to like go like an inch underneath it and cut. Boom. And do the same thing. Figures. The deeper you go down, the more the sides are going to show. So I'm going to go try it on. Boom. Just like that looks so much better is very modest doesn't show too much grossness nobody wants to see all that boom here is one of the tank tops uh, i got them in large because like i wanted them to wear like around the house like that's why i didn't want to spend like a lot of money it's just like really oversized and here's the pink one. Oh, this is actually like rude. Come on, in. hey baby. But like, this is actually like kind of cute on its own. Like, I kind of like the large. Oh my god. Like to attest for like quality, like this is a large from Old Navy, and I've had this for like probably almost three years, and like it's perfect. And I bought it on sale too. So like, stop going to Goodwill and buying clothes. Just shop the old Navy sale box. Okay. What up? Hey. It's true the baddest bitches live in bubbles. That's a fucking fact. The baddest bitches live in bubbles. That's a fucking fact. Ain't no patty bitches crabby. Hey, I got the last. I bought my strap. Happy Mother Effing Wednesday! Today is August 14th, I think. I don't freaking know, y'all. But all I freaking know is I got to work at 7.30 this morning. It's literally 7.30. I don't have to be there till 8 o'clock. Why am I here so early, you guys? I have no freaking clue so i'm gonna make a good old little car chat with y'all we haven't had a little car chat in a while i feel like i feel like we haven't had one so what's up um what's up i don't know what is up um uh. oh i guess i can like finally do like a little recap update of everything that's been going on i'm gonna include a clip right here from when i went to wegmans because i saw someone at the store that was previously discussed on this channel so boop chickadees i don't know what's happening right now why all these men are just popping up out of nowhere but tell me why the renfro dude who like i went on like the worst day ever and like unadded on snapchat and like basically ghosted right tell me why he's sitting right here that motherfucker is in that car right there i can't point but he's right there y'all i'm so gagged like these guys be creeping on me y'all i literally kid you not because i told him i was like every friday night i go to wegmans and he was like oh i hate wegmans i never shop there the people who work there are racist blah 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 yeah here he is motherfucker try to stalk a motherfucking bitch I can't, chickadees. I can't. 
like crazy, right? Crazy. That's some crazy crap. So he popped up, right? So last week he popped up. And then Austin, the dude who took me on that date and we were dating for three weeks and then he broke my heart. He didn't break my heart just once. He broke my heart twice. Um, he popped up on the grinder grid. Yes. He popped up on grinder, you guys, on Thursday night. And I was like, oopt, opt, and gagged. And I was just like, wow. And at first, like, I got, like, really, like, it's crazy, like, the emotions. Like, the emotions I went through was crazy. Like, at first, I was very, like, like, excited and happy. I was like, oh, like, this is amazing. Like, you know, maybe he'll see my profile and, like, he'll hit me up. No, he didn't do that. And then I kind of, like, went through the emotions of, like, I'm excited because, like, like, he's, you know, finally, like, going back out there you know he's finding his next victim maybe this time he'll find someone that like you know works out mm -hmm. um but then like the emotions then change from that to like wow i'm like depressed now because it's like clearly he does not want me anymore because if he had wanted me he would have messaged me instead of Popping back on grinder, so clearly he does not want me. So then I ended up blocking him just because, like, no, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't block him immediately. I waited until like Saturday to block him. And then I woke up Sunday morning and I was like, mm, I don't want to have him blocked. Like, that seems like crappy. Like, I want him to see me. So then I unblocked him. And then, like, as I went throughout the day, you know, because my emotions just be so crazy. I ended up blocking him again. And then I ended up just deleting Grinder off my phone. Because I also have JB's account favorited. And JB, he's the guy who I had the, like, the one night stand. And he, like, is always active on Grinder, but he ignores my like messages that I send him, like my text messages and my Snapchats. So like anytime I see his profile, I like get very upset because it just like reminds me of like, okay, that's awesome. You know what I'm saying? Like that just feels so great that like you can be active on Grinder, but you can't message me back. Yet you're on Grinder with your tagline saying you're looking for friends. Well, here's an idea. Why don't you start treating the people who want to be friends with you with respect and like your friend instead of wanting to find more friends? So, yeah, chickadees, it's just like really frustrating because it's like, I really like this guy. Like, I like the idea of me and this guy. It's not necessarily like we probably are compatible. I don't know. It's just like, I'm so over like being like alone. Like I'm, I know that they're like, uh, you need to like learn how to be lonely. You need to learn how to like do stuff on your own and this and that and the other. And it's like, I've been doing that shit. I have been doing that shit for like the past two years. It's like, okay, well, with that, you know, with that type of, like, mindset and that, like, theory, then couldn't one argue that, like, okay, if you can date yourself and you can be content alone, then what even is the point of dating another person? What would then, you know, how would you then go from dating yourself to then dating another person? That transition, no one's teaching you about that transition after the words. Which it's like, it's very complicated because then you go from, you know, basically fully relying on yourself for everything to then you have to be emotionally vulnerable with a partner and you have to learn how to open up and you have to rely on another person for certain things. And if you are so used to being independent, then what what can a, a person provide for you? Because relationships like are not just like two independent people doing their own thing and then they just occasionally meet up. No. 
that makes zero sense. There's no like relationship then. That's just two people living independent lives. Like with like, like no, that's like annoying. Like there has to be something, there has to be like a give and take on both sides. <sighs> so yeah, chickadees, it's just really frustrating. Like we're off of Grindr. Obviously y'all know me. I'll probably end up re-downloading it this weekend or maybe like in a few days. Who freaking knows? Next week I start school. So in literally one week I start school, which is absolutely terrifying to think about. Um. <coughs> <coughs> so maybe I'll try to make like a vlog or a video of my class. Like hopefully, I don't know. I don't want to be that weird person that's like, I'm like, this is my classroom. But yeah, that's like gonna be definitely interesting to see how that goes. <sighs> this past weekend was my nephew's birthday and it was also Hunty, um, Hunty Slay, Henry, Chickadee Henry's birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Turning up. All the Leos turning up. Like, <laughs> y'all. <sighs> who child? Who child? Who child? Who child? Um. So I also I named this rose. This is ro Y'all remember that live with BFF where she was carrying the two roses and they were named? Well, I am inspired by her and I'm naming my roses after the roses. So this is going to be Rose Spucia. And then the one I get on, I'm getting this on Thursday. This is going to be La Rose de Guadalupe. La Rose de Guadalupe is going to be this one. And I was watching that telenovela. Like, I don't understand anything that they were saying. But I was like, I was gagged. Like, that's a pretty good show. Like, Y'all, I want to learn Spanish. I think once I finish school, like, my next, like, learning journey is going to be learning Spanish. Like, I want to learn Spanish so badly. Uh, but yeah, chickadees, it's just, like, my face is all broken out. Like, I don't even know if y'all can see it, but, like, I have one here. I have one here. Here here there's one here you guys can't see there's one here here there's one here there's one here here and here and you know what i've noticed chickadees my acne goes down like like my acne goes away when i'm like in love with someone like when i'm in love like when i hooked up with jo like jb and like i was in love with him for that small moment of time, my acne was starting to go away. And now that I have been heartbroken and stressed and pressed and highly depressed, my acne is back. Isn't it crazy how that, like, that works? <sighs> but I just keep telling myself to be patient because Venus is in retrograde. But then motherfucking Mercury is going to go on a retrograde at the beginning of September. So all these retrogrades don't end until September 15th, which is the day after my birthday. So during these times, you know, communication, love, romance, career, money, all these different categories of life are very like slow moving. And there are very things that like, you know, like uh, the smallest little thing could cause like, you know, an issue. So that's why like during this time period, it's good to just kind of like take things slowly, like match the pace, you know, match the pace of the planets. If the planets are moving slow, you need to move slow. And like, I'm trying to move fast. I'm trying to do all this, that, and the other. And it's like,
Y'all, I really be crazy. I really be crazy, y'all. <sighs> I feel so much better after just breathing, y'all. Like, dang. Breathing really helps. What if there is like a sexy fine ass motherfucker in one of my classes? Because my like one class, I'm taking one class on campus and there's gonna be 50 students in there. So there's no way, there's no way I can be the only gay. There's no way, there has to be at least one other gay in there. And hopefully he's a hot sexy ass motherfucker. What was that old navy? There was a cutie pie work. And I was like, ooh. I'm gonna have to shop at old navy more often. But yeah, chickadees, I'm gonna end it here. Ah. But have a great start to the week, y'all. Have a great start to the week. Hit the kitchen, leave him be. I hit him up. Black crits and bloods and way I'm trying to see him bleed. Mm hmm.